Welcome to the narrative project of the building currently occupied by Shirts, Shorts, Burgers, and Shine with Chad Mirabelli, Hannah Busher, and Justin Baker. The building is located on the 18th, on 18th South Clinton Street and is a well-known restaurant for their delicious burgers. The restaurant is family-owned and welcome to anyone and everyone. When walking into the restaurant, the goal is to give a customers, the customers a 1930s feel. The restaurant creates this feeling with placing artifacts on the walls, old shoe-shining chairs at the entrance, and lastly, by dimming the lighting. Most of the customers and people in Iowa City do not know the reasoning behind why the owners have decided to make the restaurant have this feeling. We are here to inform the public about the reason to do this. In the beginning of the 1930s, this space was, the space of the restaurant was simply just an alleyway. However, it soon converted into a building for important business at its time. Shorts, shoes, and shine. We are interested to see if people know about this special business to the city of Iowa City. Therefore, we interviewed a few people in the community, as well as the current owner and the manager of Shorts Burgers and Shine. The first interview we gave was Mr. Perez, the current owner of Shorts Burger and Shine. We simply asked him a question about the history. The question is, like, what's the history of the building and, like, when was it built? Because we know you know, it wasn't always Shorts, so... Uh, the, you want the history and uh, what I know about it, or...? Yeah. Well, the guy, uh, HD Shorts, I think is, is, uh, he's the, he was like one of the first prominent black, uh, guys in, in, uh, Iowa City, if not the first. His, uh, he had a shoe shine company where they used to shine, uh, shoes, and they did, uh, they had, like, I think a contract with, uh, they do the boots for the World Wars and come back and do that uh, down in the basement over there. The owner knew more about the original shoe shining business than most people in Iowa City, which we expected. However, knowing the current name is linked to the history, we figured that Mr. Perez, being the owner, would know a little more than he did. Next, we interviewed Alan, the top manager at Shorts Burger and Shine, to see if he knew anything about the shoe shining business that was a big part of Iowa City during World War II. His response was, "All right, um, why did it transition from a shoe shining business to a restaurant?" Uh, well, you know, I'm I'm not exactly sure what it was right after the shoe shining restaurant or shoe shining spot. Mm -hmm. uh, it might it might have been a restaurant. I'm not sure why they stopped okay. the shoe shining business. Um, yeah, I don't know the specific answer to that, okay. but, uh... Alright, do you have, like, any other information on the shoe shine business? Like, do you know anything about, because we came in here the other day and we saw, like, the hat cleaning, was that, like... Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not, I'm not totally sure, <laughs> but, you know, I know shoe shining was the main thing, but, as you can see, there's a, yeah, the flyer up there, so they, um, clean hats and did all that as well, and I think they did, um more stuff to shoes and like more so like fixed them say or you know someone comes in and the mm -hmm. bottoms you know ripped off and they, maybe they'd be able to fix that or something like that so yeah. I don't think it was just shoe shining I think it was more um, fixing things too and, okay. and that so mm -hmm. more repair type stuff. After hearing Alan's response we became aware that most of the public and students that attend the University of Iowa know little to none about the business that supported our soldiers during the battle in World War II. We believe that being a citizen of Iowa City it is important to know about H.G. Short's shoe shine because it was Iowa City's big connection to the war. Our next interview is Wade Nash who is a sophomore at the University of Iowa and here's what he had to say about Short's Burger and Shine. Have you ever been to the restaurant Shorts Burger and Shine? It's on uh, South Clinton Street, downtown Iowa City. Yeah, actually, I have. Oh, really? When was the last time you went there? Hmm. About a week ago. <laughs> no, seriously, I went there last week with my mom. All right. Uh, so when you were there, did you notice anything about the atmosphere or uh, the artifacts maybe hanging on the wall, what they represent? Uh, yeah, I wasn't really impressed, though, to be honest. There are artifacts and stuff, but I mean... Probably old. This isn't the 1930s, though. It's 2014. Glad you have a strong opinion on that. Uh, 
Do you know what used to be here? If the, any past uh, businesses that used to be in this location or anything that was significant to Iowa City back in the day? Dude, I'm 19 years old. Who do you think I am? All right. Uh, thank you, sir. Our next interview is with Rachel Purcell, who is a freshman at the University of Iowa. Rachel, have you ever eaten at Schwartz Burger and Shine? Yes, I have. What makes it different than any other restaurant in the downtown area? It just has a different feel than other restaurants, and it has an older, rustic feeling, which is just more welcoming and family-oriented, and also their burgers are just really good. Do you know why Shorts is called Burger and Shine? Uh, I think it might have something to do with a previous business, but I'm not really sure. Thank you. After all the interviews, we realized that our prediction was correct. HD short shoe shining business is often under recognized, which is why we are glad that we have uncovered this business for the public to be more informed about. Although this should not be the case with this public space because HD shorts business in the 1930s was important not only to Iowa City, but also to the whole United States and deserves wider acknowledgement. The reason this is important is because this business supported, our, supported and helped our American soldiers in World War II. After the interview with the sophomore here at Iowa, we became aware that our generation seems to just not care. We believe that this should be changed because it is important to know of special businesses that once shaped our downtown Iowa City. HD Shorts made the boots as well as repaired the boots for the soldiers from this location, which is now Shorts Burger and Shine Restaurant. In addition, he would put a special coat of wax on the boots to improve their durability as well as keep the soldiers' feet dry since the wax was also water resistant. This is a different and exciting way that Iowa City helped out during the war that many people have no idea about. This is the reason for the name of the current restaurant, Shorts, Burger, and Shine. The Shorts represents HD Short, and the Shine represents what kind of business used to be at this location. Due to the public's lack of knowledge about Shorts Shoe Shine in the 1930s, the owner of the current restaurant has tried to create that 1930s atmosphere feel when you walk in. All of this is to represent and show what the building used to be used for. The owners want the public to walk in and realize all the artifacts on the wall, the chair, and the dim light and the older feeling to show that short shoe shining business was in this location and it was used to help support the war. We encourage you to now go to the restaurant and look at the artifacts on the wall and the pictures and read a little bit about the business that used to be here because it's very interesting and it's a big part of Iowa City. Thank you guys for all listening to the presentation.